Potomac Beads. Join me in making these poison ivy earrings. You can also do them as a component to make a bracelet or even a necklace and a pendant. Keep in mind if you need any materials, check the links below to shop with us online. So to get started, I have .006 wildfire beading thread on a size 10 beading needle. I'm going to pick up my four leaf duos and these are in the teal luster color. I have about a two feet of beading thread and I'm gonna put them on through the large end of the leaf. Add an 11 OC bead and I'm using the metallic chocolate. Add your next leaf duo and you'll notice that I'm adding them all the same way so the leaves kind of all face in the same direction. Adding the next one here and adding my fourth. Now I'm holding the bottom of my thread rather than using a stop bead and I'm gonna end with an 11 OC bead. So I have on my thread and needle my four leaf duos separated out by four 11 OC beads. I'm gonna let that drop down till about an inch and a half to two inches left of my thread and very simply tie a knot. Right over the left and then left over right. After my knot is tied, I wanna pull tight to make sure that those sit in a diamond shape or a square. It's gonna look like right angle weave. I finished with the 11 OC bead and what I'm gonna do is sew through the next leaf duo in order. Coming out that leaf duo, I wanna add three more of my 11 OC beads and then sew through that same hole, bottom hole of the next leaf duo in line. This is gonna create a little diamond shape almost of seed beads there that sit in between the leaf. I wanna repeat this a total of four times in between each one of my leaves. When you are doing this, you wanna pull nice and tight so you do not see any extra thread showing. After you have your fourth one on, sew through the last of your leaf duos. You might need to move your needle around a tiny bit if it doesn't want to cooperate that the knot is kind of in there. And then we're going to step up. I'm going to go from that bottom hole to the top hole of my leaf duo. If you're using green thread, it would hide and mask that nicely. I'm gonna pick up my 15 O's now and I'm using the Duracoat Galvanized Champagne. Add in three 15 O's and then I'm gonna sew back into those three beads that I just added in that little diamond that sits in between my leaf duos. Sewing through all three of those metallic chocolate, add three more of my Duracoat Galvanized Champagne 15 O's up through that second hole of the leaf duo. So I'm gonna repeat this again a series of four times in between each one. So you're gonna end up adding eight groups of three 15 O's, which is going to sit on the side of each of the leaf duos. Continue around adding in those three 15 O's and sewing through the three 11 O's until you get to the start, finishing up near those original three 15s. As you're going in and adding the last three of your 15 O's along the side, you're gonna go through the leaf duo top hole, the first one your thread was coming out of. And what we're gonna do now is add some seed beads to the top so we can add our wire guard. To do so, I want you to pick up one, two, three 15 O's with your needle. Grab your wire guard and you're gonna go up through the little tube on one side around the horseshoe curve and down the tube on the other side of the wire guard or wire protector. After this, go ahead and add three more 11 OC or 15 OC beads to your needle. And once you have those three on, you're gonna sew back through that leaf duo, top hole over to the starter side. That's gonna pull that wire guard right along the top and it's gonna sit right at the top of the design. What we're gonna do now is snake down so we can go into the interior and add in our crystal. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use a crystal for this. You can use a disc duo, a two-hold cabochon. This is one of the Rosetta cabs. So you can really have fun kind of playing around with what's in the middle of it. 
Also, I just added the wire guard here to the top, but keep in mind I could have added it to the bottom as well, and then you can link these together for a cute bracelet or necklace design. What we're gonna do is take our thread and needle from the top hole of the leaf down to the bottom hole of the leaf duo and out. Once it's out through that bottom hole or stepped down to that bottom hole, I'm gonna take the thread, it's on the back side right now and just move it to the front so that way the starter thread's not there. And coming out through that leaf duo, I'm going to add on some 15 O's to put my crystal on. Again, remember if you are using something that's two hole, you can do this through one side of the hole and then through the other side there. We're done with our 11 O's at this point, so I'm gonna kind of push those out of the way and bring in some more 15 O's. I want you to grab four 15 O's and your crystal. Grab four more 15 O's and you're gonna to go to the leaf that sits directly below the one your thread is coming out of, and we're gonna sew in from that right-hand side where the thread is coming out of the leaf through the larger bottom hole of the leaf across from it from the right over towards the left. From here, four more 15 O's go on. Sew through that same six millimeter crystal. Now, if you had a two hole bead, you would be going through the second hole or the other side. Four more 15 O's go on. And you're gonna sew through that same leaf duo at the top from the right hand side all the way over to the left. Give a nice tight pull pulling that six millimeter right into the center to sit in the middle of these cute, really fast moving poison ivy. They grow really quickly, poison ivy design. What I need to do now is get to the back of the design and sew around so that way my thread and needle can get tied off between those two crystals. So what I'm gonna do is go around the circle, picking up the 15, I'm sorry, the 11 OC bead as well as all the leaf duos from that first original starter row of just the 11 and the leaf duo. I'm sewing around all of them back up to the top right here. I'm going to sew through my 11 OC bead right there and that brings my thread and needle right to the back where that starter thread is. The two thread that then are right next to one another I'm going to tie a knot right over left, left over right. Take my thread zap or my thread burner, burn these down, burn them flush against the project, and then grab an ear wire, open it up, and stick my poison ivy earrings on. Remember again, you can use all kinds of different stuff to make these, so play around and have some fun. Thanks so much for watching these Poison Ivy earrings. Remember, try them out as a component for a bracelet, a necklace, or have fun really designing and creating. Remember, you can always check out the stock that you have and make some modifications. If you do make modifications, make sure to comment below to help out other people trying to do the same. In addition, click that little link on the side if you haven't to subscribe to get regular updates from us here at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. Need a full list of materials? Check out the links below to shop with us online. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and enjoy making your Poison Ivy earrings.